Hello everyone, welcome to the classroom. My name is Miss Kathy and this is Sue. Sue, today we're going to talk about letter N and letter N is for night. What are some things that you do at night? <laughs> go to sleep, that's a good one. We go to sleep at night. What else do we do at night? We look up at the stars and we can see the moon at night. We're going to learn all about some things that we can see at night, but first we need to feed Fred. That's our class job. So have a seat, Sue, and we'll get started. Hi, Fred the fish. Here's your fish food. Well, now that we have fed Fred, let's turn around and see what day it is. Do you remember the name of the month? It's August. Very good. Let's reach into our can and see how we're going to count the numbers. It says whisper. At night when you're trying to go to sleep, you have to be quiet. You have to whisper. So let's whisper as we count the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, 31. Today is August 31st. Can you say that? August 31st. It's the last day of August. Tomorrow we'll start a brand new month. Well, what day is it today? What's the day of the week? Go up to the top and let's check. It starts with a T and an H. And T-H together makes the sound th, th, th. So what day is it today? Th, 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 Thursday. Today is Thursday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 <laughs> well, it is time for us to check our weather. So look outside and see if it's a sunny day for you, cloudy or rainy or maybe stormy. Are you ready to say your weather? When I do like this, you can shout it out. What's your weather? What's your weather? What's your weather like today? What's your weather? What's your weather? What's your weather like today? It is. It is. It is out today. It is. It is. It is out today. Well, let's dress a weather bear. Okay, we're going to put on pajamas for weather bear because today we're talking about night and you wear pajamas at night and his pajamas have stars. You can see the stars at night. And what is the season? The season is summer, but look, I have a nighttime window for Weather Bear. I can see the stars and the moon. Okay, well that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for our letter of the day. And today's letter is N. Do you have a letter N in your name? If your name has letter N, stand up. If your name has letter N, stand up. 
If your name has letter N, if your name has letter N, if your name has letter N, stand up. Well, N is for night, and we are going to decorate our letter N today like the night sky. I just took a yellow marker, or you could use a crayon, and I just made some stars. I made the stars by just making lines, 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 lines. And then I took my black crayon and I colored the rest black so it could look like nighttime. If you have star stickers, you could stick those on. That would be a good idea too. So what letter is this? Letter N. And now we can recognize it. So next we'll practice writing it. To make a big letter N, you just make a big long line. And then you go back up to the top slide to the bottom and then you just go straight back up. Let's practice making the big letter N. If you want to use handwriting paper, it looks like this. Start at the top, go down to the bottom to the green carpet, then go back up to the top, slide down and straight back up down, slide, up, down, slide, up, down, slide, and then right back up. That's how you make big letter N, and you can practice the big letter N and also the small letter N. It looks like this. Make a small line and then go almost to the top and then bounce over one time. Yesterday for letter M, we bounced over two times. We went over, over, but for the little N, just once. Let me show you what that looks like. So you're going to make a little line and then boing, bounce over once downstairs because this is a little letter. So find the line where the stairs are and that's where this little M belongs. All right, we're going to make a little line and then we're going to bounce over. Down and bounce. Down and bounce. You can pause and practice or you can practice later today now that you know how to write letter N. We also know how to recognize it, so that means it's time now to talk about the sound that N makes. Letter N makes this sound. N Mm, mm. You kind of have to take your tongue up and then right back down. Mm, mm, mm. You try. Mm, mm, mm. Letter N says mm, 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 as in no. Can you do that? Take your hands in and say no. No. We're going to play a little game to help us practice that sound. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I bet the answer is going to be no, but we'll see. All right, are you ready to play? The first question is, do you want to smell stinky trash? No, 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 no. The next question is, do you want to go to bed early and have to stop playing? No, we want to stay up late. No, 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 no. Do you want to bump your head? No, 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 no. Do you want to clean your room? Hmm, no, I don't want to clean my room. Do you want to lose your favorite toy? No. Do you want your bicycle to break? No. <laughs> Letter N says n, 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 as in no. Well, that was our letter time, and now it's time for math. And N is for n, n, night. We're going to be sorting things that we can see in the day and night. So take a look at this. You can help me decide. Okay, so first, I see an owl. Do you think we would see the owl in the daytime or nighttime? Day 
or night. We would see the owl come out at night. Very good. Next, I see the sun. Do you think we would see the sun in the day or in the night? We would see the sun in the day. Good. Okay, so next I see a butterfly. When would we see a butterfly? In the day or in the night? Good, we would see a butterfly in the day. Good job. Butterflies are resting at night. Okay, next I see stars. Would we see stars in the day or night? Good job, we would see stars at night. Now I see a rainbow. When would we see a rainbow in the sky? Day or night? We would see a rainbow in the sky during the day, good. Last, I see a moon. And when would we see the moon in the sky shining brightly? At night. Good job. Well, we did some sorting today for math. Sorting is just putting things in order in, if they're alike in some way. So we put all the things, it's kind of putting them in groups. All the things that we could see in the day we put together and all the things we could see at night we put together. That's called sorting. Well, you did such a great job. And now it's time for us to think about the color that we've been working on all this week. Let me show you Weather Bear's window. Can you tell me what color the stars and the moon are? Yellow, very good. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day has just begun. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. We've also been working on a shape this week. Do you remember what shape we've been working on? Triangle. I'm going to show you how to make a star using two triangles. Get a piece of paper if you'd like to try it too. So a triangle looks like this. A triangle has three sides. One, two, three. Now I'm, this is a triangle and I'm gonna turn the triangle upside down and draw one right on top. One, two, three lines. Look, we made a star using two triangles. Let me show you that again. Think about the way that we write letter A. We slide this way and we slide this way and usually we make a line across the middle for letter A, but just make your line at the bottom and then you have a triangle. Now we're gonna make an upside down triangle. You could actually turn if it would be easier for you upside down your paper and write it, but I'm just going to make the long line at the top and then I'm going to come to a point at the bottom like that. Ta-da! I made a star using two triangles. Well, we're talking about day and night today and I want to talk some more about how we get day and night. So this is the earth. It's actually a ball, but it looks like the earth or the world where we live. So this flashlight is gonna represent the sun. Ooh, it's shining brightly like the sun. So watch this, when the sun is shining on this part of the earth, it's daytime. Look how bright it looks. But over here on this side, it's nighttime. But throughout the day and night, the earth is turning slowly very slowly we can't feel it but when it turns around that means the sun is shining on this part and that means it's daytime here and it's nighttime over here so we have day and night because the earth is turning 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 and as it turns 
it causes the sun to shine on certain parts and the sun is not shining on other parts on the other side and that makes it nighttime for them. Let me show you a picture that might help to explain that even better. So take a look at this. You can see the sun is shining on this part of the earth and that means it's daytime. The sun is not shining over here. That means it's nighttime. But the earth is turning very slowly. So throughout the day, the earth will turn, 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 turn. And then it will be nighttime for this side and daytime for this side. Well, let's talk about some things that you might see at night. You might see the moon in the night sky shining brightly and stars. Sometimes the stars make shapes. If you could connect the dots, this looks like a big spoon. It's called the Big Dipper. There's some animals that we can see at night. They are nocturnal. Can you say nocturnal? Nocturnal. That means they sleep during the daytime and they're awake at night. An owl is awake at night. And so is a raccoon. Bats are nocturnal. They sleep during the day and they're awake at night. You can often see moths at night. This is a moth. A moth loves light. So you might see one of these flying around your porch light at night. Also, spiders are awake at night. They're working, rebuilding their webs or building new webs. Well, it is time for art. And for art today, we're going to make a picture of the night sky. So let's head over to the art table. For art today, I'm using a piece of black paper and I'm also gonna be using an old toothbrush if you don't want to use an old toothbrush or if you don't have one, you could also use instead a Q-tip or even your finger. We're just going to make stars on this paper. So first, let me show you how to use an old toothbrush for this. I'm just going to dip my toothbrush into white or maybe even yellow paint. Then I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to move my finger across the paint uh, the toothbrush like this. And it makes these splashes on the black paper. It looks like the nighttime sky. Let me get closer so you can see all those stars we made. Now, if you don't have an old toothbrush or if you don't want to get too messy, because that can get a little messy, you can use a Q-tip and you can dip that in your paint and you could just make your stars like that. Just make lots of little dots. You could also make the moon if you wanted to. So this is a picture of the night sky. And that was our art for today. It's time for story time. And the name of our book today is Good Night Little Turtle. It's getting very late. It's time for some sleep. Let's say good night to the fluffy white sheep. Good night, little sheep. Good night. Hello, little bird. I could hardly see you at that height. You must be tired from your flight. Now rest your wings, turn out the light, and climb into your nest tonight. Good night, little bird. Good night. Hello, little frog. What a delight to see you flying your red kite. But it's getting late and we're losing light. So gather your things, pack them up tight. Then you can get some rest tonight. Good night, little frog. Good night. Hello, little dog. I really like your red flashlight. I've never seen one quite so bright. But it's getting late and it's almost night. Time to rest and turn off your light. Good night, little dog. Good night. Hello, little rabbit. It's nice to see you, fluffy white. Hopping logs this lovely night. 
Time to rest your legs tonight. Good night, little rabbit. Good night. Look, there's a lion filled with fright. Sometimes even lions get scared at night. Don't worry, my friend. It'll be all right. Good night, little lion. Good night. Time to brush my teeth. Get them clean and bright. Then get all cozy and turn out the light. Can I have a story so I sleep all right? Of course you can have a story tonight. There was a little tiger that loved to play. He would run and wrestle and play all day. After swimming in the pond and climbing in the trees, his tiger parent said, come to dinner, please. He ate his dinner, then he played some more. He jumped up and down and he slid across the floor. And then he practiced his tiger roar. And when it got late, his tiger mom said, Okay, little tiger, it's time for bed. Good night, little tiger, good night. Now I've had a story, time to turn out the light. I saw all my friends to say good night. I've brushed my teeth and I'm tucked in tight and I know I'll sleep just fine tonight. Good night, little turtle, good night. And the end. Well, I hope you've had some fun today. Let's sing our goodbye song, Sue. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. But won't you join us again tomorrow? Oh, it's for opposite day. I'll see you then. Goodbye, everyone.